think one of the most important things I learned about community leadership was that you don't have to lead from the point of authority or a point of power. You don't necessarily have to be the first person out on the field, but if you're the second person and you can show support for that person, then you're a leader as well. I've just learned so much about myself. Put me out of my comfort zone. And there's just so many opportunities as part of the program. You don't need any fancy title. You don't need some huge amount of um, social capital. You can create small change and impact just as, uh, as a normal person, everyday person. Having that opportunity to reflect on yourself, how your, what drives your own behaviours, your impact versus intent, understanding how others see you, what it is that you, how you operate as a, an individual, how you um, informally demonstrate leadership. It's that component of the programme, that self-exploration was, was, was really deep. I learned that I'm probably more resilient than I sometimes give myself credit for, and I'm, I'm more adaptable. I came into this programme very shy, not knowing who I even was. Um, nearly 12 months later, I'm a completely different person, so my greatest learning is me at the end of the day. Um, I've learnt more about myself than I think I have in the last 40 odd years of my life in the space of 10 months. And I think a lot of the time you can look at a problem and think, well, I can't make an impact, uh, but the program has allowed me and a lot of our colleagues to understand that even small changes make a huge impact. Self-reflection, caring about yourself and um, where you sit in life and there was a huge benefit to me. I could um, see myself in a different light and it, yeah, extremely valuable. You need to be brave, you need, you need a bit of luck, but there's always opportunities to help the community. You just got to be in the right mindset or um, be willing to yeah, help out where you can. Um, no matter what your voice is, 